actually, uh, why we are not seeking independence or separate? Because the world is changing. I always look sort of with admiration the spirit of European Union. Uh, the people, you see, thinking the common interest is more important than uh, national sort of interest alone. Uh, so we Tibet, we Asia also, one time, one great Indian sort of spiritual leader, as well as uh, thinker, he wants to express the, uh, some kind of a federal uh, sort of a city, a union. That means uh, uh, A, Afghanistan, B, Burma, C, Sri Lanka, uh, and then India and Pakistan, all sort of some kind of a united sort of federal, some kind of country. So, <laughs> so Tibetans also is one richness, yes. rich. Uh, and therefore, say, in order to material development, we remain within the people's world of China. We get greater benefit. Like railway, construction of railway links. Yes. These are the indication, the further development, provided used properly. Now, so far, they use mainly military sort of purpose like that. So, in any way, so that's one way. Uh, that also is our own interest. And the people from the China as a whole, Tibet, uh, not, separate, not separate, remain within the people from China. And that's the Chinese top most concern. Then, we Tibetan side, 1950, 50, uh, 51, or uh, 1950, the uh, Tibet, when we talk Tibet, the entire sort of Tibetan area, we, the population is around 6 million. But then Chinese officials, and usually the, the outside world also, you see, when they refer Tibet, is the central part of Tibet, which under, uh, uh, under sort of, what's the, I mean, jurisdiction, under jurisdiction of Dalai Lama's government. So, 1949, there's some other Tibet, some other part of Tibet already so-called liberated. But then, uh, the Tibet territory, which under Dalai Lama's sort of government jurisdiction, now when China, 1950, Chinese army already entered there. But then, at some sort of state, uh, some area, up, to, up, to, up to certain area, uh, all t I think at that time about 8,000 Tibetan soldiers already eliminated. Mm. Now, Chinese, militarily speaking, very easy to go up to Lhasa, but the wise Chinese leader at that time, this is stop. Uh, then they prefer Tibetan liberation should be peaceful liberation. So, agreement, 17-point agreement signed. So, the Chinese government always say, Tibet case liberated by peaceful means, uh, with agreement. So, we have a certain right, you see, to uh, sort of, what's it, a certain sort of authority like that. So, uh, and then also the Chinese constitution, mentioned a certain right, a preservation of their culture, and, and, and so on, so on. So therefore, if the constitution, a certain right which mentioned in the constitution and also some sort of official sort of document, if these implement fully, sincerely in Tibet, then that's mutual benefit. We can preserve our own culture, our own spirituality, and then also the development of Tibet according to our own sort of environment. Uh, our Chinese military personnel much increase, and the security personnel also much increase, one side. So, rule of fear, rule of terror there. 
And then, meantime, uh, about, I think, more than 10 years ago, one Chinese party secretary of the autonomous region of Tibet, you see, uh, uh, people they know, you see, he uh, is a type of hardliner. So after he came at one party meeting, he actually, you see, mentioned ultimate source of threat, Tibet being separate from mainland China, is Tibetan Buddhist faith. So accordingly, since then, they're stepping up control, sort of, uh, education. And in education, like Lhasa University, the previous, before that, they also, so in their sort of curriculum, also include some classical, sort of classic sort of Tibetan text, but all stop. Then stepping up in the monasteries or nunnery, political education. And also, you see, traditionally, these big monasteries, the student come from different sort of part of Tibet, and not only that, even from China, from India, from Russia, from Mongolia, open to everybody. Now, gradually, the Chinese local authority uh, expel all the students come from uh, outside autonomous region of Tibet. So that also is a reduced uh, number. Uh, and then uh, stepping up political education. At that time, the local Tibetan express now semi-culture revolution returning. So his sort of hardliner policy, narrow-minded, short-sighted sort of policy, really causing 2008 crisis, right. like that. The yes, Tibet. Then even at that time, even the other Tibetan area, sort of in, in different sort of Chinese provinces, comparatively better. Now these areas are also more tightening. Uh, just I received very recently one uh, now for example the last last year the number of Tibetan school in this area outside autonomous region the uh, the new policy uh, now all subject must taught uh, through Chinese sort of language and Tibetan language only just a language mm. then just a few days ago I received one information uh, some school, the Chinese local police raided and uh, sort of they search different books in sort of the students sort of what's the home. And they, uh, all the book, uh, Tibetan sort of, or Tibetan text, or Tibetan sort of some books, or they all remove. And uh, now, I, now on, they only can read and keep those sort of book which officially, officially sort of issued. So really it's a tightening. 